कर फिटिंग फिटिंग ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक कर्स दिस वीडियो इज ऑन हाउ टू फिट अ पैराबोला टू द गिवन डेटा दैट इज फिटिंग ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक कर्स फिट अ पैराबोला टू द फॉलोइंग डेटा फाइव वैल्यूज आर देर सो एन विल बी इक्वल टू फाइव Let the parabola be fitted to the data B. I'm writing here. Y is equal to a plus b x. Plus c x square. Firstly, we'll see the normal equations. So, for y is equal to a plus b x plus c x square. The normal equations are. Sigma y is equal to n a plus b sigma x plus c sigma x square. Then second normal equation is sigma x y is equal to a sigma x. Plus b sigma x square plus c sigma x cube. The third normal equation is sigma x square y is equal to a sigma x square plus b sigma x cube. Plus c sigma x raised to four. Here, as we can see, we need sigma x, sigma y, sigma x square, sigma x y, sigma x cube, sigma x square y, and sigma x raised to four. Which means in table, the columns will be first column for x, second column y, the next column for x square, then x cube, then x raised to four, then x y, and last column for x square y. So as I said, first column for x, second column for y, third column will be for x square. Next column for x cube, then x raised to four. Sorry, x raised to four. X y, x square y. Finding out the values of x square, so square of minus two, it will be four. Square of minus one will be one. Zero square zero, one square one, two square four. Find out the values of x cube. X cube, so cube of minus two, which is minus eight. Cube of minus one is minus one. Cube of zero is zero. Then one cube one and two cube eight. X raised to four. So minus two raised to four is sixteen. Then minus one raised to four, which is one. Zero, then one, and two raised to four, which is sixteen. Multiply x into y to obtain the values of x y. So minus two into one, it will be minus two. Then minus one point eight, zero, two point five, 
12.6 then x square y so square of minus 2 which will be 4 4 into 1 is 4 then square of minus 1 which is 1 1 into 1 1.8 so it will be 1.8 this will be 0 then 2.5 and 4 into 6.3 it will be 25.2 Sigma x is equal to 0. Then sigma y is equal to 12.9. Then sigma x square it is equal to 10. Then adding all the values of x cube we get sigma x cube as 0. Sigma x raised to 4 is equal to 34. Sigma xy is equal to 11.3. And sigma x square y is equal to 33.5. Next step is to substitute these values in the normal equations. Sigma y is equal to Na plus B sigma x plus C sigma x square. Sigma y is 12.9 is equal to N. N is 5. 5 into A plus B sigma x. Sigma x is 0. So it will be 0. And C sigma x square. So sigma x square is 10. So it will be 10c. Then sigma xy is equal to a sigma x plus b sigma x square plus c sigma x cube. So sigma xy is 11.3. a sigma x. Sigma x is 0. b sigma x square. Sigma x square is 10. So 10b plus sigma x cube is 0. So this term will become 0. Sigma x square y is equal to a sigma x square plus b sigma x cube plus c sigma x raised to 4. Sigma x square y is 33.5. Sigma x square is 10. So 10a plus b sigma x cube. Sigma x cube is 0 plus c sigma x raised to 4. Sigma x raised to 4 is 34. So this will be 34 c. So this is the first equation. This is the second equation. And this is the third equation. On solving these three equations, we will get the values of a, b and c. The values are coming as a is equal to 1.48, b is equal to 1.13 and c is equal to 0.55 y is equal to a plus bx plus cx squared So we'll just substitute the values of a and b and c in this equation and we get y is equal to 1.48 plus 1.13x plus 0.55x squared. Hence, this is the best fitting parabola for the given data. Sometimes, 
it can also be asked in the question to fit a parabola y is equal to ax plus bx square for this the normal equations are sigma xy is equal to a sigma x square plus b sigma x cube and sigma x square y is equal to a sigma x cube plus b sigma x raised to 4 See, I'm not solving any sum for this, but I'll just give you one basic idea on how to solve this. Here also, we need the values sigma x square, then sigma xy, sigma x square y, sigma x cube, sigma x raised to 4. So, the table will be same as of the previous example. That is, the first column for x, second column will be for y, third column for x square, then next column for xy, then for x raised to 4, then xy, and the last column for x square y. Only thing is that here we don't need sigma x and sigma y. All the other things you will need to find out like sigma x square, sigma x cube, sigma x raised to 4, then sigma x y and sigma x square y. Then the procedure remains same. You will have to substitute all these values in the normal equations and find out the values of A and B. Then substitute those values in the equation y is equal to ax plus bx square. After substitution, you will get an equation and that will be the best fitting parabola to the given data. And finally, the last type of question that can be asked is to fit a parabola. y is equal to a plus bx square the normal equations for y is equal to a plus bx square are sigma y is equal to na plus b sigma x square and sigma x square y is equal to a sigma x square plus b sigma x raised to 4. Here we need sigma y, sigma x square, sigma x square y, then sigma x raised to 4. So the table will be x second column y third column for x square fourth column for x raised to 4 and the last column for x square y we don't need sigma x so we'll find out sigma y then sigma x square then sigma x raised to 4 and sigma x square y then just substitute all these values in the normal equations on substitution you will get two equations solving those equations the values of a and b will be obtained finally you will have to substitute these values 
of a and b in the equation a plus b x square so you will obtain the best fitting parabola next video will be on fitting of exponential and logarithmic curves thank you